So Gandhi said in his uh, autobiography, Story of My Experiments with Truth, that I have nothing new to teach the world. Truth and non-violence are as old as the hills. Gandhi said that. And then the end of his autobiography, Story of My Experiments with Truth, he says, the next great battle has to be uh, watched in the human heart and in the human mind. That's where everything mm-hmm. is brewing. That's where everything takes birth. In the crucible, it takes birth. And uh, that's also our scene of action. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned about non-violence. Having seen the individual self, there is no non-violence at all, no. It's absolutely well. Having seen myself, I'm telling. Mm, mm. Uh, I may appear to be a very soft person outward. Mm, mm. Uh, when I get hurt, mm. as you mentioned very perfectly, mm. uh, I get violent. Yeah. I don't express myself. Right. But I used to feel guilty about that violence. Mm. That's the thought process I have. Uh, that's because of social conditioning. That guilt is coming from conditioning, social conditioning, uh, through idealism, that one has to be good, that one should not hurt anybody, uh and uh, these are ideals uh these uh, these are true for the great mahatmas but they're not true for the rank and file of humanity and therefore when you impose what is unnatural to you as an ideal for you then uh you are going to suffer on account of that idealism because uh it is not who you are it's uh, who somebody else is the saints the sages they are that but not us uh so non violence coming back to non violence non violence is an ideal it's an ideal the reality is violence you see violence also in the animal kingdom go to african uh, safari and you can see violence there in all the jungles and that violence is in man even in no in our own physical body there hmm. is violence no when a new pathogen gets into the system of it gets killed Yes probably uh, is is violence a part of uh, self defensive mechanism yes for the individual organism to survive the the body has to survive uh, the body has got its own immune system and it will definitely defend itself and without that uh, life cannot exist life means in the form of uh, 2 million organisms there are 2 million organisms on planet earth and uh, they cannot have a form they cannot have structure uh, without those immune systems working perfectly uh, they will all be born today and they will die next week so th- that's but the question is while that is necessary for nourishing and sustaining the body uh, we have to ask uh, what do we do with the uh, violence which is in consciousness yes is very very it's a kind of astral violence mm. it's not yet spilled out into action i'm not going to come and punch you in the face but a thought is punching you in the face yes and krishna murthy is asking us to watch that uh by watching we may be able to tame that uh, uh violent energy which is in us maybe we don't know we don't know have to go more deeply into it but <laughs> a constraint <laughs>